This is my latest creation. It is a uh, Vortex rocket stove oven. It's a twin chamber. Let's pop that back in there. Some fire glass. Quite a large oven space in there, big enough for a roast chick. Roast chicken with all the veggies, big uh, cop top on there. And see the um, wood pellets that it runs on, just sitting in the bottom of the basket there. See them on top. There's a little air vent. Um, that's running the secondary air into the fire pit so it's just sucking in more oxygen getting the flames larger getting the temperature higher there's my crazy dog outside all crazy ain't you girl yeah so we're gonna go ahead and light this I think um, what you need to light it is something like this it's basically a small um, flame torch yeah get them for about 20 bucks 30 bucks and you need a lighter so I made a um, short wee video of this in slow-mo yesterday, it looks pretty cool. Sounds like a jet engine, eh? So we're just going to go ahead and pop this into here. Now what this does is it heats up the whole chimney system and starts pushing hot air through the whole system up through the, the pipe. There you can see all the smoke sucking out of the teepee. Um, with these rocket stoves, the, the difference between these and the uh, standard fire is they don't smoke. The only smoke you're gonna get is in the starting up process uh, when all the pellets are kind of like just heating up. But once everything's up to speed, that's just gonna be pure energy. There's pure um, nothing coming out. You'll see it's going to take in a minute, and I'll I'll flip over to the other side so that we can see what happens once she's all up to temperature. Just check that now. It is actually a light now. I'll just give it another wee blast, Woo, baby. See the oxygen starting to flow through here as well. Right now, it's a little glass window. If we come back round to the front, you can see a very different situation going on there. Yeah, so the flame's going just from there, hitting there, and boosting up there, then up the chimney. Now, uh, if we go up here, we can see that already we, it stopped smoking. Sure, you can see some cool beams of light coming through there, but if I zoom up onto the chimney, put my hand over there, within a minute or so of it going, nothing. Running clear. And that's just one of the reasons what makes these things just totally amazing. You don't have to run it on these wood pellets either, you can just run it off uh, little dry kindling sticks, put a different hopper system on top, and still even with um, good dry kindling you're not going to get any smoke. Now these things burn far much hotter than a traditional fireplace. 
in this whole twisting vortex effect that I've achieved by this angular design also creates um, a higher temperature. I'll try and zoom in on the uh, fire basket for you. I'll take some um, different exposure ones, some slow motion, some ultra slow motions, and then you can see the whole effect of it going around. But basically by the time the flame has got to here, there's no more flame, and there's also no more smoke. It's um, superheating the wood gases, superheating the wood smoke, burning everything in the smoke, turning it all into clear energy. Heat. Heat and light. Plasma. I just want to show you guys the other thing I've got on show today. It's not my dog. She's always a performing. Uh, what we're inside today is um, a hybrid teepee. It's kind of a cross between a teepee and a yurt or a gur. It's a um, little five meter. It's got a, a window that expands like a skylight all the way around. It's uh, fully insulated with um, white panels. Like a stealth bomber in the bush. It's got a spa bath here that I'm running the rocket stove off. But yeah, it's hard to capture in the frame actually the size and what it looks like but uh, there, there's no sticks out the top like a tra traditional um, teepee this is much more waterproof it's got a, um, a ring system more similar to the wheel of a gear or a yurt the poles slot into a stainless steel sheath at the top i'll see if i can go zoom in this is a door, this is actually the big door in front here that you can pull out and attach to a tree or whatever if it's raining or if you want to divert the wind in a certain way but I'll just try and get back here and get a wee view. Oh you can see the rocket stove inside there. It's quite hard to find an angle on this in the bush here. Yeah. But anyway, we'll go inside and we'll look at the top of the, the uh, ring, the wheel. It's very hard to see. I've got a torch here. I'll see if I can blast that. And no, it's impossible. But yeah, I'll stick an image in there or something later. Meanwhile, rocket stove's up to temperature already. I mean, I could add some kuma in here cooking. Some nice roast kuma in there yesterday. Show you inside the oven on the other side here. I'll just move this out the way. Yeah, so you can go in from the back as well. There's quite a big space in there. Sorry about the wobbly camera. Yeah, there's like a house shaped roof in there, so there's more space than you think. And then there's like two levels. Gonna do some grilling and slot it up there. I've been uh, catching kawai fish just down the bridge 200 meters away and then uh, bringing them in here and sticking them in whole garlic butter. Delicious. You can see the little window here showing you the wood pellets. So, I mean, um, you start to know when it gets down to about here, uh, you've got about 20 minutes left. So, like a little clock. Anyway, what do you guys think? Leave some uh, questions or whatever in the comment section. 
Yeah, I mean, this is all like um, 5 mil, 5 mil, 6 mil mold steel. Um, this bit here actually is not connected to this bit. It's all like Lego systems, so I can fit it in my uh, small SUV for camping. Yeah, I mean, how good's that? If you had a teepee in the bush, don't want to be seen. Little safe, reliable wood stove like this. Doesn't give away your position at all in the bush. It's safe, it's safer than any other kind of uh, fire system I can think of. It's only ever the tip, the very tip of the basket that is on fire. And it 100% requires the draft or the, the vacuum effect created by the flu wrapping around going up for it to be on fire if I uh, for instance pulled out the window glass here then that would stop the, the flow and all that would do would smoke there a little bit uh, very easy to take the unburnt section of the pallets out there's a few other methods as well but yeah I mean much safer than burning the whole piece of wood and dealing with all the smoke I might be able to zoom in here you can see in the window it's all kind of like sucking down you can just see a bit of smoke there actually it's before the smoke burns later on in the, the UBN section Yes, yeah, so I'm going to be making a few of these up for sale or whatever. I mean, it's just local stuff really, I suppose. But uh, yeah, pretty cool stuff. banger anyway guys i'm gonna go maybe uh get the jug put some water on i'll keep making some videos show you how quick it is to get water up to boil some more using the oven anyway uh like and subscribe boys peace